Hey, Gary Baker here with 30minutemarketing.net. In this video, I want to show you how to embed a YouTube video. We're going to do that by jumping right into YouTube. And also as we do this, I'm going to talk a little bit about why it's important. Of course, when you get to YouTube, you'll have a video. It could be your video or it could be a video that you want to share or embed on your own, say, WordPress blog or website. You simply just click this share button. Now what happens is, is this brings up the share options and it also brings up this little code embed option which is going to give you the code to actually embed it on your website or your WordPress blog. Of course these other options for sharing are technically embedding as well and we're going to talk about that and why it's important. But we're going to start here by clicking this embed button just to show you how to actually embed a video or embed a YouTube video. So there's some code here. It's iframe code. You don't really need to worry about that. There are also some options here, such as start at a certain time. Also show or not to show player controls. That's the little controls as far as like the play button, fast forward, speed, all that kind of stuff. Also enable privacy enhanced mode. Click that and then you can hover over this and you can understand here what that is all about. Basically when you turn on privacy enhanced mode, it allows you to control the tracking that's going to occur when someone lands on your web page. If you turn on enhanced privacy controls, a user to your website won't be tracked by YouTube until they actually press play. You can read that to understand more of those options. You also need to understand these terms of service here. By embedding YouTube videos on your site, you're agreeing to the YouTube API terms of service. So make sure you read that and you understand it. But simply to embed this video, you simply click on copy. That will copy the code. It'll also say down on the left hand corner, link copy to clipboard. Then you would go to something like your WordPress dashboard and you would just simply go under post, add a new post. Then when the new post comes up, you would simply just give that a title, something like YouTube embed, and then you would simply just paste in that code and you're gonna see right there, it's automatically recognizing that as YouTube embed code and it's going to embed the video right there. Then if you wanna see what that looks like, you can simply hit preview of course, you could publish this on your blog, but in this case, I'm just gonna hit preview and preview this in a new tab. That's gonna generate the preview from WordPress. And then that's what it would look like when it actually is embedded on your YouTube blog. Now, why is this important? This gets into the aspects of getting more traffic to your YouTube channel. Because at the end of the day, if people come to YouTube and they find your video, then they'll watch it. But what if they don't come to YouTube there's options there, of course, if you embed it on your blog or if other people embed it on their blog or if they share it on social media, which we saw here under the share button, the options here to share it. So for example, if you were to click Facebook, then that would embed the video and share it on Facebook. And this is going to drive more traffic, more views to your YouTube channel. But also this has implications in SEO as far as Google SEO versus YouTube SEO because they're owned by the same company, but they are different as far as ranking factors. So let me give you an example. If I were to go to Google and type in what are the boron letters and you were to look, you can see the first page of Google doesn't actually show videos, but you can actually go for videos and click on the videos tab. Then you can see here under the videos tab, you can see that I have my video ranked on 30minutemarketing.net, my blog, as well as the video is ranking on YouTube. So when someone searches for what are the boron letters, I have the double chance here of getting them to my YouTube channel or sending them to my blog, have them go to my blog, get traffic to my blog, and get traffic to my YouTube video when they watch the embedded version of that on my blog. And this is what it looks like on my blog. If you just scroll down, you'll see here that I answer the question, what are the boron letters? And then I have the video embedded on my blog. This not only gets more views to my YouTube channel, it also helps the bounce rate or the duration time on my blog as well because when they click to watch this, they're going to stay on my blog and that's going to increase the time that they're actually on my blog, which is another good SEO signal to Google. Let me give you another example. What is the simple traffic blueprint? If you scroll down here, you're gonna see that I actually rank for this as far as 30minutemarketing.net, but also under videos, you'll see that I'm not in this first four, but it does rank the videos. So if I do some optimization, I would have the chance to rank here. But if you were to click view all, 
Again, that takes you over to the videos tab, and you can see here that my blog, 30minutemarketing.net, ranks for this term as well as I had my video embedded, so it shows up. And again, that's giving good signals to Google and to YouTube and displaying my content, getting me more chances to get more views to my YouTube channel. So what about all these other options, Twitter, email, talk, Reddit, all these other social media or blogger sites to include like LinkedIn? How can you actually do this and be more efficient at it? Well, I'm going to show you a tool that you can use to actually embed to all these social media sites to include your own blog inside of one simple interface so you can literally share out the video to all these sites with one click. And that tool is called VMI Embednate. There's a link in the description. You can check out the sales page and I'm gonna show you inside the tool right now. You can see inside the tool, you have training to show you exactly how to set it up and actually operate it. But I'm gonna show you real quick how to do it and you'll see how simple it is. Of course, all you do at this point is come down here and click share YouTube URL. Then you come here and write a title, share out your YouTube URL. You can also add a hyperlink inside of the description and you simply choose the accounts to share to that you see here, for example, Blogger, LinkedIn, Google Slides, and Google Docs. And I'll show you that in a second, how you manage all those sites and how simple that is. But I wanted to show you how quick and easy it is to actually share your YouTube video to all the sites with a single click. So to get this information, you just simply go back to YouTube. Then when you're back to YouTube, you'd simply just click that share button again. And in here, you would just grab that URL right there. Take that back to Embedinate and paste that in there. Then for the title, just simply go back and just select the same title. By copying that and then pasting it in title, then of course, if you want a description, you can easily just go back to YouTube, look in the description. If you have a description here already typed in, you could use that or you could create your own. And then you would simply just paste that in there like that. Then if you wanted to add an actual link to your video inside of your description, you could actually just add that link right there. And then you could highlight the text that you want to link to. That will add a hyperlink right there to your text. So for example, if you're sharing this at a site and it actually gives a description, you'll have the video embedded as well as a hyperlink in the text that's shared at the same time. Then you simply just scroll down and then you deselect the ones that you don't wanna to share to. And in this case, it'll get shared to LinkedIn and to my blogger account for Gary Baker Marketing Blog. And you simply click here to share. Sharing in progress, please wait. You can see down here that it posted to Blogger as well as LinkedIn. You can also download those shared links. It downloads a text file. You can open that up. And then in the text file, you'll actually have the links that you could save or you could share those links out as well. Also, when you go back to Embedinate, you can actually just click here to see where and what it looks like when it was shared. So for example, in Blogger, click to link to Blogger post. And you can see here now that I've shared this on my Blogger account under Gary Baker Marketing and also have that hyperlink. So that again is giving a good solid backlink to YouTube and essentially helping your SEO and your ranking for your videos when Google is looking for information about the topic of the video that you made. Go back to Embedinate and you can see here, you can also see it where I posted it on LinkedIn. And now there you can see just like on Facebook that we showed earlier, it is actually shared and embedded on LinkedIn at the same time I shared it over on Blogger with a click of one button. So how easy is this to set up inside of Embednate? You simply just go to Manage Accounts and then you simply just pick the account to one of the networks that this has connected or has the ability to connect to. And all you do is you simply just click on, for example, LinkedIn. And you can set up multiple LinkedIn accounts and it's as simple as clicking on LinkedIn, clicking here to Get permission, you simply just sign into your LinkedIn account. It will authenticate, take you back to VMI Embedinate and show you that that account is linked. Then when you start sharing your links, you can go to My Shared Links. And then when you start sharing, you'll be able to start instantly sh see your list of shared videos. There's also the ability to share images, manage what's called social ADR. You can join social ADR and you can find out more information about that because these are actually pro features inside. Of course, there's a link in the description. It'll take you over to the sales page and explain everything about that. I just wanted to show you inside of the tool, VMI Embedinate real quick, so you can get all the benefits of sharing your YouTube videos to make sure you're getting the most traffic that you can from all those social sites, as well as giving good signals 
to Google for Google SEO to get your videos ranked on the first page of Google. Again, increasing the views that you get to your YouTube channel. Now, if you'd like to find out more about a simple and effective strategy to creating a YouTube channel and setting up a real business, go ahead and check out the video that you see here on the end screen right now. Click that, watch it, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.